Okay, I will irritate saying this error again and again and again. No matter how many times you try to solve this, perhaps I can help you. You can find out many solution video related to this problem. Maybe you have already tried many solution and still you are getting this error. So in, a, in order to solve this problem, just follow my instruction which I am going to show you. Maybe right now you are thinking, how can I be sure that the things you are showing me will work for me? Look, I have this same problem before and I went to all of this solution video out there, but none of this solution works for me. So that means you are in the same situation I was before. Just give it a try. Who knows it may work. All we have to do this. First make sure that you have enabled virtualization in BIOS. If you don't know how to enable it in BIOS, you can search it. There are many videos available. You can uh, check it from here also. Tax manager. Performance. What is this? What is this? What is this? Tax manager and performance. If it is here, if it is disabled, you have to enable it in BIOS. Uh, second, go to the control panel and uninstall program. You have to uh, uninstall Windows subsystem for Linux update. For now, just uninstall it and also on uninstall uh, Linux distribution that you have installed in your PC previously. I have installed Kali Linux, so uninstall this also. Third, open up Windows Fetcher. Turn Windows Fetcher on or off. Uh, just uncheck Windows Subsystem for Linux and uncheck Virtual Machine Platform. If we are here already, just uncheck Hyper-V and also uh, Windows Hypervisor Platform. Why enabling these features if you are not using these features? Click OK. Maybe you are like, wait a minute, are you mad? How will you think you can run WSL without enabling these features? Relax, I know, right? We'll enable these features later anyway. After clicking OK, uh, it will tell you to restart your PC. Restart it. After restarting your PC, enable the Windows subsystem for Linux by running this command. Open PowerShell as administrator and run this command. It will take some time for you. After this, enable the virtual machine features by running this command. Again, open PowerShell as administrator and and run this command. And again, it will take some time for you. After this, uh, you need to restart your machine or PC again. Restart it. After restarting your PC, now you can download and install WSL2 Linux kernel update package. You can find the download link in description below. And also set the WSL2 as a default version. Open PowerShell as administrator and run this command. After this, finally you can install your Linux distribution of choice. For that, open Microsoft Store. Search for Linux. And you can choose any one distribution. So I want this Kali Linux. Just install it. After installation, you can uh, um, click here, launch. And then it will promote you to create a user account and password for your uh, new Linux distribution. So guys, if it works for you, come back and subscribe my channel. And please let me know if this helps you or not in comment below. And always, thanks for watching.